Hey everybody, Mountain Mike. I'm out in the shop. A little chilly. I got the heater going. You probably can hear the hum of it. So we have to net our bird pies in our when we do the bird feeders. So we have to use, we use about 4,000 of these a week and they all have to be hand cut. So in my brain I'm like there's got to be an easier way than pulling it across and cut, pulling across and cut. So I'm going to come up with a little jig for it. I've got a piece of stove pipe, I've got a piece of threaded rod, and a little bit of ingenuity. I'll see what I can do. Okay guys, what's really cool is this piece of pipe that I found out back is exactly uh, 16 inches round, which is the length that we need for this damn dang thing. So I can do this one hand it, two hand it, doesn't matter. Okay, look. Check that out. Perfect length. So I'm going to cut a piece of this 16 inches long and put a couple of ends in it, thread it rod through a handle. I'm going to put a slice in this here so I'll be able to put a piece of the, yep, and then turn it and then, yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Did you catch that? Hope so. I know there's no guard, but... So now I'm going to take a piece of wood. I'm going to draw two circles. And then I'm going to attach them into the ends of this. Here and here. Because I am 12. Get off. Looks like we got some shaving to do. A little off the top, Bob. Here's the piece of threaded rod that I'm going to use to go on the inside of this right after I drill a couple of holes in this. I guess my dots in the beginning were pretty fucking close. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Same here. Let's see how close it is here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My eyeballs aren't that good. Yep, they certainly are. Unfucking believable. <laughs> Love it. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to run uh, one of these nuts up so far on the thread and then I'm going to put this on and then slip it on the end of this. The thread's going to come out through by. I'm going to put another nut on and I'm going to lock that into place. So that will hold this in place so I can turn it. I really only need it to hold on one spot. The other really doesn't matter. It's not like it's going to hold the freaking 
chain for the USS Orville or something. I'm gonna grab a washer and put on the end of that. Okay, I've used a lock washer and a flat washer. The lock washer will kind of lock into the wood. So now I'm going to do the same on this side. So I've got the rod threaded on. As you can see, I left a little bit so I can leave it for the bearing outside. Let's see if it fits. Oh, like a glove. Like a glove. Nicely done. Haha, <laughs> perfect. A little bit of tape on that. It's not going anywhere. Okay, guys, I fashioned a little just a holder for the roller. I've taken an old cutting board and I'm going to use it as the bearing for the thread. It'll eventually wear out, but I can just keep drilling holes and moving it up if I have to. I gotta make a cut in the cylinder now so once the mesh is all wrapped around it I'm able to take the scissors and cut along that cut line so we're just gonna go and head and make a little mark here mask gloves I'll make it a little bit wider for the scissors to get in there. Cut that line right off. Okay. Looks good. So this is the roll of mesh that I was talking about. It's the onion bag. Here we go, I'm gonna build a bracket. Uh, I think I'll just use some two by four, come out here, build kind of the same deal. And uh, yeah, go from there. Good, great. Oh, so I've fabricated a couple of boards here. Two by fours. I'm now gonna drill a couple of holes here and that will receive a pipe that goes through there onto there and then that can get fed onto here everything should roll we'll give her a test all right on to drilling my favorite part test number one see if the roll fits on here should be able to get up there that's a full roll and so there we go okay full roll fits Let's uh, let's put it into the machine. Machine, I say. Let's put it in here. Got to tie a knot on the end of that, I think, first. Let's try doing that. 
was not. Pop that in there. And then, you know what I might do? You know what I think I should do? I think I should put the drill on that and see if we can pull it that way. Ah, I think that's a great idea. Okay, this is test number one. Tightened, reverse, here we go. Using it. Just keep rocking. I'm gonna bring it back this way. I don't know how thick I can make it off the beginning. Alright. Now, it seems to work really good actually. Look at that. I literally, I, I literally, I l just cut probably six to seven minutes worth of literally cutting. I just cut in two and a half seconds. Holy fuck, this is a game changer. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Success. I'm going to go uh, show it to the person that's going to run it most and uh, hopefully uh, she likes it too. <laughs> Mountain Mike out.